unraveling the whims of the wilderness north walleye. How do you figure them out cranking, using crankbaits? It's a great question. There's all different kinds of way of fishing for walleye up here. You can fish them on fly, you can jig for them, you can troll for them, or you can cast for them. But inevitably, you're gonna end up throwing crankbaits for walleye at some point while you're up here. So I've categorized these crankbaits into three different sections. Number one is depth. The size of the lip at the end of the crankbait dictates how deep it's going to go. A small shallow lip, a medium lip, and an elongated lip means it's going to dive, it's going to dive deeper, and it's going to dive the deepest. That's as easy as it goes. Have a variety of those different shaped lips to cover the water column. Here we have profile. We've got a small crankbait that has a bunch of bait ball fish painted in it. We've got an elongated um, kind of a sort of a smelt looking crankbait and then we've got a perch pattern crankbait that's a little bit fatter. So you've got three different, very different profiles of different kinds of fish. And the third section we've got is color. We've got a very realistically painted smelt um, that is very shiny. It's a, it's a gloss matte. We've got a very flat, realistically painted perch. And then we've got a, I don't really know what it is, it's a gold with a black stripe painted fish with red eyes. And I know that works because I've caught giant walleye on it. So these are three things that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to crack the walleye code here at Wilderness North. There are plenty of them and some of them get quite large. Um, depth, profile, and color. Keep those three things in mind and that'll help you unlock the whims of the Wilderness North walleye.